Well, hello everyone, Pastor Ed here. Today we're at Hollywood Studios and uh, we're gonna be checking out some stuff today, check out some new merchandise and also be checking out um, Hollywood and Vine, which is a restaurant, one of the few restaurants in the parks that we've never eaten at before. So it should be a fantastic day. The weather is awesome, it feels good, crowds aren't too bad, so we're gonna have an outstanding day today. Living on the best park life. This is a cute one, honey. Uh, this is a lounge fly that we actually already have. This is like some additional merchandise that they've added. Best vacation ever. Play in the park. I like this. Um, you like those water bottles? Carpet. Yeah. Those are the most standard sweatshirt we've seen many times. This is good for you. Are you kidding? So here we have some of the. Uh, these are spirit jerseys I have not seen before to go along with lounge flies and ears. Peach Punch Collection, this is new to me. I have not seen this before. Have some of the Oahu. Oahu. I have not seen this before. Oh, that's cool. So that Main Street looks yeah, so kind of like that. We got the. So I'm trying to get the shoulder. That's a cool shoulder. Main Street USA, got a Disney World. That is a cool shit, I do like that. I've seen a whole lot of new other stuff. Eddie, go ahead have one of those. Nikki, I think you've seen this backpack before. They got a little like purse down there for it. Corduroy, Nikki. Yeah, they got Max in the distance over there. Are you walking to Hollywood and Vine? Now, Hollywood and Vine is at right here, uh, right next to Echo Lake, where you see that fountain. Yep, see Max Goof in the distance. I love the Goofy movie, one of my favorite, favorite movies. But here we go, we are approaching Hollywood and Vine. Our first uh, time here, this is character dining, so be aware of uh, the additional cost there and the addition of the characters. And uh, this ought to be outstanding. I've looked at the menu a little bit, it looks real good. Picture opportunity here. All right, guys, ready? So this has like an old timey diner type look to it with the floors, the tables, the windows, some of the stuff they got around. Uh, here, thank you so much. This place is not crowded at all today. So you can see Minnie over there. I did see Mickey too. Looks cool. Hey Goofy, how are you? Yes, you good? Picture of Goofy. Yes. Goofy oh. All right. Hi, nice, Goofy. Thank you so much, Goofy. So this is buffet style. We do have some assorted breads here, herb, ricotta, spitz rack rolls, rolls, interesting, and our Caesar salad, our kale, chickpeas, stuff for traditional salad, vegetarian chili, chicken noodle soup, fruit, more salad stuff here. There's your peel of each shrimp. Not entirely sure if I'm eating fat peel but I do love shrimp. I didn't go all the way up there. Okay, potatoes here, sour cream and chive whipped potato, salmon, salmon cakes, baked marinated chicken, caramelized Brussels sprouts, and olive oil crushed potatoes. So one thing that's nice is this place is not crowded. It makes it a whole lot easier uh, to in the uh, video here. I'm not trying to get around people. Mushroom risotto. Something that I'm not entirely sure. That must be tofu. Broccoli and carrots, you know, rice, hot roast with fruit vegetables, Mexican street corn, roasted 
coconut squash, roasted pork with spicy mustard, chef's selection, it's like some kind of, I don't know what that is, barbecue meat, all those look good. Our strip along here to be cut. And then as most buffets here at Disney do, we have our buffet for kids, which is going to be kids mac and cheese, mini corn dogs, potato barrels, tater tots, chicken nuggets, just similar to how um, the Crystal Palace is for kids. We've got green beans, chicken legs, and rice over there. So that's interesting. We have some of that. Let's try the same menu over there. And then our desserts here. Thank you so much. We have our Mississippi mud pie. Our Apple crisp, seasonal bread pudding, yeah. and our ice cream uh, machine over here as well, chocolate, twist and vanilla, and then our cupcakes as well, cookies, we have Correct. carrot cake, cupcake, those look good, peanut butter and jelly tart, creme brulee cheesecake, and we love that. Okay, yeah, this has got some good looking stuff out here. And on this side of the buffet, we have our roast turkey cut to order over here. We have pasta over here. Okay, this is pretty much straightforward. Very similar to Crystal Palace, but the foods are a tad different. Looking good, Evan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good? Yes, there. There we go. There's the big cheese. You know, you know, kids, you know, kids, he runs the whole show. You know that, right? There you go. So, Emmy, what do you think? You got mac and cheese, rice. What do you think of mashed potatoes? They're good. Chicken tenders. Eddie, what'd you get? You like your stuff? I got some chicken noodle soup to get started as Nicole's up there uh, getting rolling with her stuff. But I'm going to get myself a nice couple plates, and this ought to be very, very good. So, an honest review of the uh, chicken noodle soup. Uh, that's not a great way to get started. Very bland and kind of mushy. Um, I'd like to see some egg noodles, you know, maybe in that soup with just a little more flavor. I don't know, maybe they think it's supposed to add salt and pepper or something to it, but it just needs some seasoning of some kind. So, we hope everything's get better and uh, the buffet gets better. We're going to go try uh, make a big plate now and I'll get back to you real soon with how that is. Alright, I do have uh, a very healthy selection of stuff here. I've got salmon, salmon cakes, the barbecue meatballs, uh, strip loin, turkey, salad, uh, a bunch of stuff buried underneath you there. I got the pot roast pork. And uh, what did you end up getting, hon? You've got the uh, mashed potatoes, which I got also, the Brussels sprouts, and a couple other things there. So Nicole and I have been talking a little bit. It's a little bit underwhelming. Um, the food is okay. I mean, the, the salad's not that great. The soup, I already told you, wasn't that great. If I didn't, I'd be done it out. Um, the, the barbecue meatball's been about the best thing I've tasted so far. The turkey is kind of dry. The salmon is just okay. I mean, it's got a little bit of a, a glaze on it. You know, you can kind of see there. Um, it falls off my fork. But... Cookie's back now. <laughs> Bop him on the nose. Oh boy. That crazy goofy. That crazy goofy. Alright, so the first round of food is not the best. Nicole and I are pretty pretty underwhelmed with everything. You guys know us and watched us for a while. When it comes to food reviews, we are very pretty easy going. We're not too hard on the places. Um, I don't know where this would rank, but it wouldn't be very high up, I could be honest with you. Um, I, I basically, for my second entree play here, I got more of the things that I liked from the first one, which is pretty much just mashed potatoes, the butternut squash, and the barbecue meatballs. And I added some kids' corn dogs to it. Um, I had to go exploring in the kids' menu just to find something else I might like, so that's not good. Um, you do get a chance to meet the characters a lot here. Uh, Minnie's coming back around here. Let me show you. Hi, Minnie. Awesome. Mickey there. Awesome. Thank you so much, Minnie. So one good thing, being that this place isn't particularly crowded, and I think I might kind of know the reason why it's not crowded, is you get to meet the characters over and over. So this is Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, and Goofy. 
and you get a great chance to meet them, um, and interact with them, but it's, it is kind of, it's middle of the afternoon the day we're here, so I don't know if we're at a low time. I did overhear one of the uh, cast members working here say he's training somebody, said that this is kind of an unusually low time. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, the food's pretty underwhelming. Um, and we, have, we have Pluto coming back around here. Hey Pluto, how you doing? So just a thought, if you're booking your Disney vacation and you have other opportunities to go to different places, just try them out. I mean, there's a lot of restaurants that Cole and I and the kids haven't been to in all of the Disney parks, so this is one of the few that we haven't tried. We wanted to try and give a review on it. Uh, pick someplace else, and that's being nice, but just, you know, for the amount of money the character dining experiences are, pick somewhere else. So something I want to point out here is that Considering that the, uh, the attendance atmosphere here is fairly low, the characters are kind of coming around like a ridiculously amount of times. Like It's almost like you can't even eat because we're here so often. We've seen all the characters numerous times. We're only halfway done our meal here. So just keep that in mind. Um, it gets to the point where it's kind of annoying now. People that are coming, you know, from a state on a vacation, you know, they're probably going to be excited to meet the characters. You know, I've been there. We've done this so many times. So it's, it's more about the food for us at the these places, um, but just be aware of that as you're kind of doing your, your stuff and everything. Okay, buddy. Sorry, so it is dessert time. We're going to see if the desserts can redeem the food here, but we have our peanut butter and jelly tart right there. We have our uh, carrot cake cupcake and the cheesecake cupcake, and I got some apple uh, tart with ice cream, some Mississippi mud cake, which is the black chocolate stuff, and then also some uh, bread pudding here as well. So we're going to just see how good these are and give them a try for you. Alright, something I want to point out because this is the second time that it's come on the speaker in here. They are playing the song from Titanic uh, in here, My Heart Will Go On, but who sings that? Celine Dion? Um, I do not understand exactly why we're playing it in here. Like, they played Star Wars music, they played Indiana Jones music, but Titanic, maybe because this place is like a sinking it's ship, a I don't movie. know. Stop it. It's like, it's, a, it's movie themed. So they're just I playing scores from movies. I get but it. I get they're it. playing scores, but the Titanic theme in here is just kind of hilarious. Is it, is it owned by Disney? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know either. I have no idea. I, mean, I like the movie, but you know, I mean, who knows? Walking in here to the, one of the shops here on Sunset Boulevard. Toy Story Lounge Fly, Little Bo Pete Lounge Fly, Cool Shirt, Toys at Play, Woody Buzz, Slinky Ham, Rex, Mr. Potato Head, and Mrs. Potato Head. Same 2024 stuff you might have already seen. Watch any more more recent recent Disney films. Gardening collection on Disney Studios. Let me have. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Interesting. Um, yeah. This is some of the four part collection that we showed you at Animal Kingdom a little while back. Thank you. 
Did you see one here you like? Uh, not yet. different lands of Magic Kingdom here, Adventureland, Tomorrowland, that's interesting. Main Street USA, I do like the Main Street USA one, and that would probably be my favorite one of those, Adventureland, like I said. To uh, in the Queen's Racing Academy, this is an area that is always always closed off because we never get here in time to actually go in here. So this is one of the few attractions that we've not done in Hollywood Studios. Show entrance is over here. filming allowed inside of the show, but pretty cool show of a racing simulator and uh, Lightning McQueen going up against Chick Hicks, which is the dude in the green car from the original car, so that was a lot of fun. Now we're going to see what we're going to get into now, but it's a beautiful afternoon here. Weather looks great. This is a very beautiful evening. The temperature's perfect. It feels good out. Everybody has a smile on their face. It really turned out to be a, a nice evening here at Hollywood Studios. I think we're going to go ahead and get some coffee from Joffrey's Coffee, and then head over to uh, probably the Toy Story area next. Stopping off at Joffrey's, there's several on the menu here that I have not seen yet, a round them up latte, place a latte with cookie butter syrup and dulce de leche sauce, top of whipped cream sprinkles and animal crackers. That looks interesting, not sure if it's from me, but it looks, oh I see the one over there. Are you taking the next guest? That's interesting. This will be a cold okay. one. Next guest. And a hot one. Hmm. So this is what is left of the round the round them up uh, latte. Yes, and I had to get a water. So this did have graham crackers in it. It was quite good. I was very thirsty and in need of caffeine. So uh, this is at the Joffrey's over here uh, in between Rick Mickey's Runaway and the Toy Story Land area. And I'm not sure if they have it at all the Joffrey's locations, but it was very good, very tasty, not too sweet, and a good flavor of coffee in it, so I really enjoyed it. Currently heading on to Slinky Dog Dash. This was listed at a two hour wait when we first looked at it this afternoon. Now it is down to 70. I'm gonna put that probably at about a from the way, thank you so much. The way the line looks, depending on how bad lightning lane gets, probably down to about 45 to 50. This is my guess. We'll, we'll clock it here for you. So that wait time was fairly accurate. About 70 minutes was right. I was wrong in my estimation. Lightning lane uh, pulled some time tonight. But because it's so late, you're going to get a, uh, a dark uh, POV ride, uh, POV video of this ride. So I've never done it in the dark before. You can see all the cool colors and see everything. So this would be awesome.
So we are headed out through Star Wars area, Batuu East, as another uh, popular YouTuber likes to say. But uh, that was a real fun ride on Slinky Dog Dash. We were gonna get on Toy Story Mania, but to believe it or not, the wait time for that was longer than Slinky Dog Dash, which is surprising. It's 105 minutes when we got off, and Slinky Dog had crept up to 100, so we got on at a decent time. But walking through Batuu here, and uh, you know, see if we can find one of those cool. Do you want one of the cool sodas? One of those ones in the cool bottles? Okay. Uh, feels great though. What a relaxing day. Not the best meal we've ever had, but a lot of fun stuff we've been able to do this afternoon and just enjoy Disney. It's been a bit since we've been here. Got somebody dressed up over here in a Mando outfit. Nice. Let's see them walking in the background there. Yeah, which is a show I don't watch, but I've heard really good things about it. So we're gonna get something to drink here and probably head out. And uh, it's been an awesome day. I hope you've enjoyed journeying along with us. This is just what we do. We come, we hang out, we just be a family together. Even though we're short, Rosie today, she wanted to stay home, but we're really enjoying our time here. Walking by here in the Millennium Falcon, standby wait time, 20 minutes. I'll take it. You 
keep up with me. What you owe me for damaging the Falcon is... Hey, not bad. R5, damage report. <laughs> Engine failure, all right. Hyperdrive leak, mm, that is not too good. Like we are. So we stopped off after Millennium Falcon, which by the way was a last minute decision because the weight was so low, and we stopped off at Dockin Bay 7 to get some new juice, which is something we've not had before. It's a mixture of like pineapple and simply orange. Moose juice. And, not moose juice, moose, yeah, M-O-O-F. Moof, M-O-O-F. And uh, this is really good. Too. Yes, thank you. Orange, simply orange, simply pineapple, and something else. Got all the simplies in it. It's really good. That is really, really good. I kind of wish I had one. Man, you can leave that right there. So something new that I've never noticed before that's brand new, ice cold hydraulics. Thirst suspension. And so they got snacks and drinks, different things there. We'll have to take a look at that the next time we roll into Hollywood Studios. Well, everyone, we want to thank you for joining us uh, today. Had an awesome day at Hollywood Studios. Got to check out Hollywood and Vine. Wasn't the greatest, but at least we know now. Got a chance to ride a few rides, check out some merchandise, and most importantly, spend some family time together and have some fun. My friends, till next time from Hollywood Studios, be blessed. We love you. God loves you. We will see you again soon.